Our sales team uses lots of different form templates, but all of them contain common design elements. For example, at the top of each form, we always include the form's name and boxes for collecting contact information from the person filling out the form. In Microsoft Office InfoPath 2007 design mode, I can create a template part, which is a reusable portion of a form. After I create a template part, I can use it wherever I need it or share it with other form designers. To create the template part, I open the Design a Form Template dialog box. Next, I click Template Part and then click OK. I can tell that I'm working in the special InfoPath design environment for template parts by looking at the title bar. To get started, I'll use the Layout task pane to add a layout table to my template part. I want the first row in the table to display the form title, so I'll just replace the text with my own boilerplate. And I don't need the second row, so I'll delete it. Now I'm going to add a second table to the template part. This table will hold the labels and fields used to collect information about the salesperson. After I finish formatting the table and adding fields to it, I save the template part as an XTP file. For the time being, I'll store it in my Documents folder. Before I share my template part with other form designers, I have to test it to make sure that it works. First, I create a blank form template and go to the Controls task pane. Then, I use the Add Custom Controls wizard to quickly find the template part on my computer and install it in the Controls task pane. Once I install the template part, it is available for me to use in any form template that I design. You insert a template part into a form template just like any other control. I just click the template part in the task pane and it appears on the form template inside its own section. I replace the boilerplate text with the title of the form template. Then, I open the preview window and test out the form fields to make sure that everything works as expected. Uh-oh, I see a problem. I misspelled one of the text box labels. I'm going to need to open the template part to fix that. To do this, I open the template part again. Fix my typo and then resave the template part. Back in my form template, the old template part is still showing with the typo. Before I can update it, I need to do a couple of things. First, I delete the original template part from the controls task pane. Then, I install the latest version. The next step is to update the actual template part on my form template. I see that the sales header in my form template has an information icon in the upper right corner. When I hover over the icon, I see a message telling me that a new version of my template part is available. I right-click the information icon to see options for updating the template part. After I click Update on the shortcut menu, the new template part appears with the correctly spelled word. Now, I can copy my template part file to a common location and share it with other form designers in my company. This saves everyone time and effort and helps ensure that our form templates maintain a consistent look and feel.